Here's a simple technique of enlarging and undersized rexes following IOL implantation. In this case, you can see that the superior part of the rexes is undersized. Let's now see how we use a cystome to enlarge this opening. Under viscoelastic cover, a cystome is introduced into the anterior chamber and a nick is made tendentially in the anterior capsule. The lack of the underlying nuclear support can make this challenging. Once achieved, one of the torn edges is held and in a circular manner, note how the tear is extended. Let's say that again. Under adequate viscoelastic cover after stabilizing the eye, the torn edge is held and using the shearing force like we do in creating a rexis, it is suitably enlarged. We need to be mindful of the extent of the extension because it should never exceed beyond the optic. And the fact that you don't have a nucleus underlying it gives you a different feel to this bull as opposed to when you create a rexis. And now you can see a suitably enlarged rexis. Now this technique of enlarging the rexes with the help of a cystome comes with its own limitations. And as I explained earlier, the lack of the underlying support of the nucleus makes it rather difficult to create the initial tear in the rex's edge. And I have noticed that the tear in the edge that eventually is created with the cystome is more like a notch. And the problem with the notch is that once you have a notch now, once you hold it with the forceps to extend it further, you actually have to now create yet another tear and then extend it as is demonstrated here. And this lacks control with increasing the chances of it going out into the periphery. So there's got to be another way. A more predictable way of actually enlarging a rexus after IOL insertion is the use of intraocular scissors to create a tear in the rexus prior to extending it. And here's how it's done. Now here's another case where you've got a slightly smaller rexus superiorly. Now let's see in this case how we use scissors to enlarge this rexus. Adequate viscoelastic is first introduced into the anterior chamber and after fixating the globe, an intraocular scissors is introduced into the anterior chamber and creates a tangential cut with absolute ease in the anterior capsule. Having achieved this, some more viscoelastic may be introduced into the anterior chamber and as mentioned earlier with a high magnification and a perfect focus on the anterior capsule, this torn edge is held with the help of an intraocular forceps and with care and caution and with absolute control, the tear is enlarged to give you a perfectly enlarged rexus. During and at the end of irrigation aspiration, you can see quite clearly that you've been able to achieve the capsular rexes of the size desired. Towards the end of the case, you can see the suitably enlarged rexes. So it has been my observation and my experience that the use of an intraocular scissors as opposed to the cystome is way superior and is a more controlled manner in which you will be able to very successfully enlarge the rexes to the size actually desired. I do hope you found this video tutorial useful. Thank you.